Well, thanks for watching. Nightly News is up next. LEX 18, streaming local news 24-7. Search for LEX 18 on your device. Tonight, Merrick Garland breaking his silence on the FBI search at former President Donald Trump's home. The Attorney General announcing the FBI has filed a motion to unseal the warrant and revealing he signed off on the search. Personally approved the decision to seek a search warrant in this matter. And the new reporting tonight, the subpoena Mr. Trump was served with months feel, before the search and the meeting about classified documents. Also tonight, a brazen attack on the FBI's Cincinnati office, a man on armed with an AR-15 style rifle and a nail gun, attempting to breach the building, then leading police on a chase, ending in a shootout and an hours long standoff. And just in, we're learning he was at the Capitol on January 6th. The CDC easing its COVID guidelines, the major changes on masks, quarantines, and social distancing, just as students begin heading back to school. Relief at the pump, average gas prices falling below $4 a gallon for the first time in five months. Have we turned a corner? Angelina Jolie on her mission to help survivors of abuse. Why a new kind of technology could be a game changer. The football player wowing social media with his talent off the field. And the big honors being awarded to NBC News and this very broadcast. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, I'm Kate Snow in for Lester tonight. In a rare move, the U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland is speaking out, saying he personally approved the FBI search of former President Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago on Monday. While he said he could not provide more details about the basis of the search, he did say the Department of Justice is asking a judge to make the warrant that was issued public. Mr. Trump reacting on social media saying, with no warning, Mar-a-Lago was raided. That message resonating with Trump supporters, some ridiculing, even threatening law enforcement. Today, the attorney general pointedly saying he would not stand by silently, seeing his agent's integrity attacked. Just hours before in Cincinnati, an armed man walked into an FBI field office shooting a nail gun. More on that in a moment, but let's start tonight in Washington with our Kelly O'Donnell. In an extraordinary...